been three years, but the Vidplin has finally hit showroom floors. And now that people are buying it, I've been getting tons of questions about whether or not I would choose this or the Supermoto. I haven't been super sold on it, and the person I usually bicker with is Joe Gustafson. You've seen Joe in a few videos. He's known as the world's slowest Le Mans starter at SoCal Supermoto, and also as Husky Joe by Diana Dahlgren. I am now Husky Brad Pitt, which is very nice. And who gave you this nickname? Diana Dahlgren said I look like Brad Pitt. Diana, is that true? What up? What? Did you give Joe a new nickname? Yeah. Now, Joe was saying, and that's that enough he talking from Sean, because we're here to talk about this bike. Let's talk about the first thing I laid eyes on it. What a gorgeous motorcycle! What a pretty motorcycle! What a fantastically svelte motorcycle! And then I thought, it's pretty. It's useless. It doesn't have much space for luggage. It can't go long distances. Oh my God! This bike is you, Sean McDonald. So I booked a ticket to California to prove that Sean and the 701 Vip Pillin are a match made in heaven and he should give up his supermoto. To compare the, the Point number one of why Sean McDonald's a 701 Vip Pillin. The looks, the tank, the seat, the awkward high-vis hits, the bumps and things that go nowhere and have no purpose. Sean McD, silver hair, tattoos, it's very skinny for some reason. No reason why, it doesn't even lift. That's why the two of these are the exact same thing. Okay, this is absurd. <laughs> We're comparing the Vitpolin and the Supermoto. The Vitpolin, yes, is a better looking version of the Supermoto. It's kind of cafe, it's kind of futuristic, the tank is actually rad, the seat's super comfy, the exhaust is dope, but it doesn't not have super comfy. It, Okay, well, you know what? Maybe if you were a little bit lighter, it wouldn't be so painful. Rude. Painful. It's 2018, body positivity, man. <laughs> the exhaust is amazing, although the end cap doesn't look weird. I am not that bike. I am that bike. You're insane. Silver, silver. Pretty, pretty. You're an idiot. Stupid, stupid. Both of them are the exact same thing. So it's been the end of a long day. We spent the whole day dicking or testing in the canyons. And uh, our second point's performance. This one was full of surprises. Bikes that look good, that look retro, typically don't perform well. This 701 Vip Pillin, incredible. The new 690 motor, super smooth, plenty of power, plenty of flexibility, suspension's awesome, brakes. Like you, full of surprises. You look like a 13-year-old girl, but you have Spider-Man strength. This is absurd. We're not comparing that bike to me, We're comparing those two bikes. And I will agree, the motor is rad. I was surprised hanging off it. The Supermoto still wins, I think, for performance-wise, hanging off and leverage. And I just like the way the power's made. I have to look at the gearing. But overall, versus any other cafe racer, that's my bike. I have tendency to agree. Now, it's taco time. All right. I get so fat, call me Orbit, Orbit, I mean. Ain't gotta wait to make them move as I be loaded. Why you watch it drinking for this? I just told it. Still that same, the in a form, but it's stolen. Ryan sporty, I can sport it, can't control it. Point number three is comfort. The Vipillin looks amazing, is great, but it's hard seat, it's low bars, and it's awkward tank make it not the most comfortable bike to ride in the city or around town. Like Sean, I had to quiz his ex-girlfriend for this one. He's bony, he's too small, and he's difficult to ride. That is why Sean McDonald and the 701 Vipillin are the same thing. I'm a really good cuddler. Lies. Is that what I heard? I will say 
the bars are actually perfect. They're not too low where you're like in two racer mode, they're uncomfortable, True. they're up high, but your shoulders are nice in the wind for the freeway. The seat in the tank, kind of a bummer. A little rough. Still that same in the form, but it's stolen. Ryan sporty, I can sport it, can't control it. I'm doing fraud, got that bag, yeah, I'm transporting. I got that bag on me, feel like I'm transporting. He dropped a miss, take it, thought I would have reposed it. I ain't posted miss, take it, I don't shorty. I be booted to the morning, PM to the morning. My little wallet want it bag, I'm using a one on rolling. Final point number four is the price. The 701 Supermoto, my bike, costs 11.3 where the 701 Vitpalin is gonna run you 12 grand. So you're paying about a $700 cute tax, although there is things like the traction control or the quick shift. Uh, Nicer fit and finish. Fit and finish, having a gas gauge. But it's a lot for cute. You're paying a lot of money over the 701 and then a lot of money off a comparable 690 Duke for being cute. Like Sean, bougie gym, closet full of vans, never wears the same motocross jersey twice. Very expensive to maintain that look and lifestyle. That's why you are the Vipillin. It's so rude. It's rude, but it's true. It's potentially true. Uh, I might have a few things in common with the 701 Vipillin. I think overall, the 701 Spark Plin might be the best of both worlds. You get the upright riding position. It's all black, it's a little bit mellower looking. Is pretty cute. That might be the way to go. Yeah, but it really doesn't matter, because at the end of the day, like you and the Pillin twins, they really only exist for a camera lens. <laughs> All right, you might be right. But I had a plan though. Because you're right, you maybe had 17 iced coffees today. We're gonna get some vegan food. I'm gonna show you how we maintain this svelte weight here in California. And uh, you're gonna hate it. I already do. Ain't gotta wait to make them move as I be loaded. Why you watch it drinking for this? I just told it. Still that same nigga in the form, but it's stolen. Ryan sporty, I can sport it, can't control it. I'm doing fraud, got that bag, yeah, I'm transporting. You guys didn't think I was gonna test the 701 in any way and not come to Adams, did you? We're here with SoCal Supermoto, uh, comparing the 701 Supermoto and the 701 Vipolin. I traded in my Husky Midwestern Slow Guy for a Husky Southern California Fast Guy, and we're gonna see what's up. Get it? Text a message, I don't know the number. Flexing on these niggas, every bone and muscle. Steady taking shots, never hurting them. Even then, y'all don't worry nothing. And I like to give a shout out to my niggas with the game plan. And shout out to my niggas with escape plans. Uh, 20 bands, rain dance. We can be the rain checker, we can make plans. It's hot. As it turns out, the 701 event plan. It's not very good on the supermoto track, which unfortunately only confirms Joe's point. It's me.